The world of cryptozoology has once again been given hope as a species of thought to be extinct Russian bear was rediscovered, not just surviving but thriving in the wilds of the Altai mountains. This in itself is very exciting news, but what could this mean for the more cryptid creatures out there like the Almus? Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. The bear known as the Silugum bear was captured by tourist cameras unexpectedly while they took a trip through the national park. This large mammal was said to have died out some 60 years ago and other experts claimed that it was a mythical creature. This species can be told apart from its brown bear cousins due to its lighter almost blonde colored coat with large white claws and unlike the brown bear it prefers a highland habitat to the forest home of its cousin. These pictures are hard photographic evidence for a creature that was only found in an artist's impression made in the Soviet era. And this brings us to the Almis. This area of Russia borders Kazakhstan, one of the most secretive nations on the planet and Mongolia. For centuries stories of wildmen have plagued these areas. Much like Bigfoot, the Almus was thought to be a creature of myth, evidence of the cryptid again like Bigfoot being sparse. The Almus is said to be ape-like in appearance, found throughout Central Asia, Russia and the Caucasus. The people of this region describe the Almus as a human-like bipedal creature which stands between 5 and 6.5 and feet tall. That's quite a bit shorter than reported Bigfoot measurements. This could also help with the legitimacy of the stories. Many species found in the area have cousins living in North American wildernesses and although not all there is a pattern of the North American species being larger. So back to the Almus. They have a human like appearance or a better comparison would be a Neanderthal with their pronounced brow ridge, flat nose and a weak chin. The body is covered in reddish brown hair, some sightings have them wearing primitive clothing made from animal skins. Over the years many reports have told of interactions between the Almus and humans with successful communication between the two parties coming from hand gestures. These stories have been recorded locally for hundreds of years. The West knew nothing of this creature. That was until British anthropologist Myra Shackley read Tibetan medicinal books. These books contain drawings and descriptions of all flora and fauna in the regions and you have guessed it the Almus can be found amongst them. Actual hard evidence has been difficult to come by, footprint casts and even photos but no physical evidence of the Almus has been reported. This creature like Bigfoot and other hominid cryptids will need to be captured or a body found in order to show it exists. This brings us full circle to the bear, a creature that is easily accepted as being possible. So why is it cryptid hominids like the Almus are not? If the environment is sufficient enough to support a large animal like a bear it could easily be able to support a hominid. The two share some basic needs. Both are omnivores, both use natural shelter and both would cover a large range when gathering or hunting for food, this making a sighting difficult. If you would like to learn more about the Almas, a paper written by Nathan Wenzel provides a critical analysis of the cryptid. Search for The Legends of the Almas, a comparative and critical analysis. Do you think the Almus could be roaming the Mongolian steppes waiting to be discovered just like this bear? Do you think the Almus and other hominids are just myth? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.